Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that how basically we can add a simple input field here where, where we can search the Gmail messages which is present inside your Gmail account inbox messages. So this is the fourth tutorial in the playlist of tutorials guys of mastering Gmail API using OAuth 2 in JavaScript. So I will highly recommend that you watch the previous three tutorials of this playlist. So we have built all this functionality in the last three tutorials. So in this tutorial, we will be adding the simple search field where you can search individual messages using a simple keyword. We will be making a simple fetch request and we will be adding that parameter, which is Q parameter. So here you can just search the message based upon a keyword guys. So let's suppose I want to search Ezoic related email. So I will simply write Ezoic and then I will click this button of search messages. So what it will do guys as I hit this button, it will only find out those messages which is having Ezoic in it. You will see you have received a payment from Ezoic payment ID and if I drag down Ezoic support Ezoic Geeky Gotham you can see Ezoic. You can even click on the individual message and basically it will open this message inside a new window. So this will be opening this message. You will see that. So in, the, in this way guys, you can individually search for messages based upon a keyword. You can also increase this limit. So it will now be displaying 15 messages which are only related to Ezoic. So in this easy way, you can search your messages using the Gmail API. So and let's suppose you want to search from a email address. So you, you, this is a, a filter that you can see from underscore. And let's suppose I only want the emails which are coming from this email address, which is support at the rate is .com. So I can even write like this. So this is just a search parameter, which is allows inside Gmail. If I click search messages, so now it will only be uh, showing the email addresses which are received by this email address support at the rate is .com. You can see that is support, support, support. So in this way, it makes it very much easy to filter out messages which messages that you want you will see now it will display 47 messages only received by this email address so whenever you want to delete messages let's suppose received from a particular keyword this makes it very much easy so we will now be adding the search functionality inside your gmail inbox using the gmail api version 3 inside javascript so i will highly recommend if you are watching it for the very first time please watch the previous three tutorials before coming to this tutorial because we have built all this functionality in the last three tutorials so i will just be explaining you this concept how we can add the search input field now we will first of all discuss the method guys we were using we will only be using the http get request the same method which allows you to display all these messages inside this table so this basically this uh, method will expect a parameter called as q parameter q stands for query string you will see q is a string only return messages matching the specified query you can also write li like this from underscore if you want the emails from a particular re receiver and uh, let's suppose i write paypal here you will see execute it will ask for the permission here you need to grant the permission so it will only return this uh, json response guys it will return the id of the message and we will be displaying all these messages like this so this basically it's a queue parameter you can pass it inside this get request to get specific messages based upon a keyword so we will use the same concept so for this tutorial guys i have written a complete blog post in the tutorial in the video description if you want the full source code you can go to the description of this video and basically step by step instruction is given so just follow along and uh, copy paste all the source code so inside this i have given this link also of the previous blog post so you must read this blog post also because you if you want to build out the entire thing so now guys we will be implementing the functionality so now just go to the directory structure of the files here in the previous three tutorials so we have this file so now we need to first of all go to profile.html and basically we need to add a input field here where we can search messages so we will be adding a simple label for search so we will simply say that uh, enter keyword enter keyword so here we will have a simple input field input type text and we will be giving an id to it of search and basically here we will send uh, place placeholder will be enter or we can simply say search messages and that's it after this guys we will have a simple button here and this button will be simply be search messages so whenever you click this button we will execute a function so let me just give it a id of search button that's it 
so these three things we have added guys label input field and a button if you now open this inside the browser you will see these three things happening and uh, now let me just auto complete to off so there will be no auto complete so basically now we need to bind a function guys whenever we click this button we need to filter out the messages based upon whatever we write here so for that we need to go to profile.js and right here we need to declare two variables here first first one for the throw parameter this will be empty by default so here we will be storing the user whatever user write to search the messages and then basically we will be declare, declaring the reference search button we will be getting the id search button which which we have given right here to the button and also we will be uh, having the search input field so we will be getting the reference like this so we have get, getting all these references guys and uh, let me see search button okay let me just also delete this yeah so we have got uh, both these references of these dom elements guys this is the input element we have given the id and we have given the button as well so we are getting the references by using document or get element by id so now we just need to basically make a slight adjustment guys inside the function so this is the function responsible for getting the messages from the gmail inbox so we are passing one parameter to it of the maximum number of messages to this max results so now we just need to add a second parameter guys here which is q parameter so for this guys uh, we need to just make it url a local variable and based upon whether q is passed or not we will basically be having a second at, uh, parameter which is q initial value will be null so so if you don't pass the queue parameter whenever you load the page here we can see we are calling this function we are not passing the value so the, it will automatically take the default value which is null and here we will based upon this value we will compare this value if queue is triple, double equal to this one if it if the value is empty we will construct the url so the url will look like this let me just paste this url this is will be the url so here we will not be passing the queue parameter because the user hasn't searched for it like this so this needs to be surrounded in backtick symbol so we can see that max result is dynamic here and basically now in the else block if the queue has some value in that case url will be different and inside this we will take the queue parameter here and here we just need to pass the second thing out there which is the q parameter so simply uh, and sign q is equal to the past value like this so this is the dynamic url guys based upon whether q is there or not and now we simply need to replace this value instead of passing the static value of url like this so this function is done guys so this is the modification that we need to make just to make this search field working so we have declared a local variable url and based upon the queue parameter if it's e null then we are not passing this query parameter if had if it some has some value we are passing it using queue so now we just need to basically whenever we press the button we just need to we have got the dom reference which is search button we need to attach the on click so whenever we click this button we will call this method which is again this get messages and here we will pass the <coughs> the number the number of messages that we need to retrieve comma now the query parameter so this time the query parameter will be coming the value guys which is search this is the input field reference and dot value this will get the value which the user writes so whenever you click this guys so now if you refresh this application so what you will see so as you load the page guys you can see that we have got all the messages now let me search for a basic message of ezoic ezoic message only click on search messages you will now see it will only show my you the ezoic messages 
I can say here JavaScript. You can see it is filtering out all the JavaScript related messages. So in this way it is working. And now what will happen if I try to increase this number? This will not work. This will only show the messages here which are received right now. So we also need to make sure whenever we increase this value, we need to take this value and only show these messages. So for this, whenever this value is changed here, if you see, whenever the number has changed, this slider is changed, we also need to, we are also calling this function get messages. So here we just need to provide the value, which is search.value. So just make this adjustment and now what will happen? If you refresh it, search for Ezoic. And if you increase this value of 95, and now it will only show you the Ezoic messages here. You can see that 95 messages. So in this way, guys, you can implement this functionality, which is very much easy. How to search messages based upon a certain keyword inside your Gmail API using OAuth 2 in JavaScript. So I will also be adding some more functionalities to this tutorial, uh, this application in the playlist of tutorials. So definitely check out this. Please hit that like button, subscribe the channel. And uh, for the source code, you can go to the description of this video. And I will be seeing you in the next one.